maybe it's marble. Maybe it's marble contact paper. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to tell you how I transformed my office desk from drab white to marbleized glam. The secret to applying contact paper flawlessly on any smooth surface is da -da -da, Windex, also a squeegee and some measuring tape. Other supplies you're going to need are a little cutting mat and a nice ruler and an X-Acto knife. So let's get another good look at this desk. I work from home, so I spend lots of time here. It is a humongous desk. It came with the house. It's integrated into the wall, basically. And uh, if there is such a thing as too much white, then that is what was happening in this office. <laughs> so step one, clean off your surface. Make sure that there is no dust or debris because if there is, you're gonna be locking that in forever. Step two, get your contact paper, which you should have already ordered at this point. Otherwise, get with the program. I got this on Amazon and we'll link the listing below. It was the longest roll I could find. Even so, I went ahead and got three just in case because if there's one thing that I hate, it's having to push pause on my projects. No, once I get started, I want to finish. As you can see, one roll isn't long or wide enough for this gigantic desk, so I am glad I covered my bases. Step three, position your contact paper where you want it and cut accordingly. For me, it seemed only logical to put the full piece to the right side because when you walk in, that's really the first thing you see. And I put it toward the front because I really wanted that rounded front edge to be flawless. Now, not all contact paper has lines on the back. I'd say make sure that it does. It really, really does make a difference when you're trying to cut in a perfectly straight line. Remember what they say, measure once, cut twice. Mm, no, I think it's measure twice, <laughs> cut once. Then stop to take a picture for Instagram, of course. So here comes the innovative part. What you are going to do is actually spray some more Windex before you unstick the backing of the contact paper. What this is gonna do for you is it's gonna allow you to slide the paper around before you decide where it's gonna go. It makes it so, so, so much easier and less intimidating to just lay it down and then position perfectly later. As you can see with this back piece, I spritz just a little bit of Windex, not too much because you're gonna end up having to actually push it all out. Also recommended besides the squeegee is a paper towel just to absorb all of that extra Windex. But as you can see, it's sliding around a bit and that's okay. It's the easiest way for me to figure out exactly where the contact paper needs to be. You only have to do it for the first part until you figure out exactly where to lay it. After that, just unpeel and stick as you go along. That second piece turned out beautifully. Now for this last little chunk, I decided to turn the paper sideways just to make less cuts. And honestly, I think that it's a lot more obvious because I did that. So if you want it to be even more perfect and less perceptible, then make sure to keep the grain horizontal all the way through. Now squeegee all of that Windex out. Remember, this is super, super important because if you don't get the Windex out, it's not gonna dry how you want it. And ain't nobody got time for that. As you can tell, the seam from the piece in the back is a lot less noticeable than the seam from this side piece. But hey, I still think it looks wonderful. Step five, put all of your stuff back and enjoy your gorgeous marble top surface. I mean, come on. This is like a night and day difference from what it looked like before. Simply gorgeous, darling. So yeah, that was pretty much the tutorial. Um, this Windex trick, I'm gonna have to thank a random user on Amazon. I read it in their review and I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to give this a try. So it wasn't my idea, but I wanted to share it with YouTube because I didn't find a single video explaining how to do it. So hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it's useful, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I'm super excited with the way that this project turned out. That's pretty much it.